Critical Load is designed to take a minimum of 45 minutes to complete for students of all ages using low-cost materials. This lesson focuses on issues civil engineers face, including critical load and how to reinforce the design of a structure to hold more weight. Prepare for the lesson by reading the lesson plan, reviewing the PowerPoint, and gathering the required materials. To begin, divide the students into teams of two to three. Hand out the worksheet and materials and explain the challenge. You're a team of engineers working together to design a structure using index or playing cards and tape to hold a minimum weight without collapsing. Teams can only use the materials provided and must use 12 cards or fewer in their design. The cards may not be cut or torn. Using the reference sheets, explain what critical load is, the maximum weight a structure can bear, and why engineers must keep this in mind as they are designing buildings. Consider having a classroom discussion about famous building failures and give an overview of what civil engineers do using the PowerPoint slides. Teams begin by brainstorming solutions and drawing a diagram of the plan structure on paper. They'll then decide on a final design and construct their structures. Encourage students to work together to troubleshoot issues they run into. Remind students that there are multiple solutions to the challenge and that engineers learn from failure and then apply what they learned in their redesigns through multiple iterations of their designs. Each team should first document a prediction about how much weight or total number of items their structure will hold. Then each team will test their structure by gradually placing weight on top of the design in small increments. All teams should test their structures using the same amount of weight for consistency and fairness. The weight can be small containers holding the same amount of weight, or same number of items, such as coins, marbles, Legos, etc. You might also consider using books, stacks of magazines, or even cans of food, as long as the weight used for testing is consistent across all teams. The goal is to test the design to meet a minimum load equal across all teams. It might be fun to go one step further by having the teams continue to add weight to their structures until they're as flat as a pancake. Teams should chart the maximum weight, load, or number of items their design successfully held, the amount just prior to failure, and compare it to their prediction. Have students complete a reflection sheet and share their experiences with the class. Finally, celebrate the fact that these students designed a solution using their creativity while learning how engineers impact the world.